Hello and welcome back to another video in the TA Tech series. Um, this is going to be a pretty short one because what I'm covering is relatively simple, but the basic idea of what I want to cover here is how to do this. Which is how to have your allies keep the weapons out between combat. As you can see, I sheathed my weapon and we pulled it out there and my weapons and my teammates did not do that. They simply kept the weapons out and started running towards the next enemy. So the basic idea of this and how this works is that as long as your allies are in an animation, I did not do it very well there, we'll try that again. I am really messing this up. They will not put their weapon away because they're basically in the middle of an animation already. So if you are back in combat by the time that animation ends, they won't want to put their weapon away because they are still in combat. This is situationally useful in time attacks as there are some times where between waves, for example, it might be beneficial if you could prevent your allies from putting their, their weapons away because you no longer have to wait for them to sheath and redraw their weapon, which will allow them to start running up to the enemies quicker and start inflicting the debuffs from their gem weapons, such as... Um, the defense down or physical defense down faster. This doesn't have many use cases in time attacks, though it does have a few specifically in um, uniquely disadvantaged free, and it can sometimes be relevant in uniquely disadvantaged glitchless. As we'll look at a clip for the free category here in a little bit, which will um, give a specific exa example. But for example, in uniquely disadvantaged glitchless, because Dunban finishes off wave two, wave one with worldly slash. You can actually skip him drawing and sheathing his weapon due to how long that animation is and the fact that you're going to be starting wave 2 next to the enemies already. With all this kind of talking and theory out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into an example by looking at one of my PBs for Uniquely Disadvantaged Free. So here in Uniquely Disadvantaged Free, the basic idea of how we use this is that um, we're going to try and have Melia keep out her weapon between wave 2 and 3. So you can go ahead and watch this and I can show you. So right now my allies are called to my side. And then right here before the last one hits, we can go ahead and watch that a little slower. You can see Melia begins her summon bolt animation. And then I'm back in combat by the time it ends. So she immediately runs over and starts auto attacking, which is able to get the ether defense down off. This allows us to save a decent amount of time in this time attack. And like I said before, there are other few niche use cases where it can come up, but this is the primary example of it. Of the things that I plan to cover in this series, this is probably the most niche one. However, I kind of wanted to talk through it since it is situationally useful and I want to make the guide for this series next, so it will be useful to talk about. With all that out of the way though, that's about it for this video, so I will see you in the next one. See ya!